Hello to my Taurus. This is Queen Amun-Ra coming to you with your general reading. Let's get into it. This video is for the 1st of November through the 8th of November. So if you're watching this on October 31st, it is the last day in this cycle. Let's do it. Let's see what's in your cards. Let's see what's in your cards. Let's close it out. I saw that card at the bottom of the deck. Some new seeds are being planted. All right, all right, you're leaving behind a lot of distractions. Raising your frequency. Good, 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 good. Raising your frequency. All right. Mm -hmm. Somebody's getting their chakras aligned, which is a good thing. Just leaving behind, closing out cycles. Um, leaving behind a lot of distractions. Here we have the Eight of Cups here. Mm -hmm. This might went to bed one night and decide, you know what? Head and heart are no longer at war with each other. I need to raise my frequency. I need to stop with the conveyor belt, compare, comparing everything, everybody. I need to see the difference in people. I need to save myself from all of this comparison when people. Here we have the Knight of Cups. That's how you're going to save yourself. Mm -hmm. You're seeing the differences in yourself. You're seeing what stands out about you. You're seeing your uniqueness in you. You're seeing your uniqueness in other people, right? We also have the Six of Cups here. You're seeing what stands out about you. You're seeing what stands out about other people, Taurus. Um, you're seeing what sets you apart from everybody, but you're also seeing what sets other people apart, you know? So something had to get somebody, you know, like really straighten somebody out. A lot of times looking at the cards here, when you're in an area where it's just a bus circus, you know, it's like people on a conveyor belt, especially when everybody's comparing everybody. Oh, I can replace you. You easily, you can easily be replaced. You hear that so much. You looking for somebody to save you, you know, um, you be looking for somebody to tell you what sets you apart from everybody else until you're in an environment where you're like, oh, no, I don't belong here. Oh, no, mm -mm. I, don't, I don't belong in this environment where you're being treated like you're in a conveyor belt, like somebody just basically, you know, um, you're just looking for somebody to save you. So something straightened somebody out. Something just said, hey, look. I don't belong in this circus. Mm -mm. I don't belong here. So, um, that's what sources, that's what, um, that is what somebody woke up one night and said, okay, I'm awake now. I'm, I, I, I'm awake. I'm wide awake now. So, that's a good thing. So, I do feel like um, <clears throat> some new seeds have been planted, you know, in your spirit. You're getting your chakras aligned. Right, so I do feel like somebody will be taking a trip. Right, so six of cups is um like a like a baton has been passed. Somebody is, you know, having some memories now. Somebody's having some nostalgic memories. Somebody is really just kind of sort of remembering the good times of their childhood. Somebody is really just kind of um just kind of sort of thinking back to um. You know, just kind of sort of just remembering um, where some things began for you. Just kind of, that's where somebody is now. You know, somebody just kind of sort of just remembering. You know, here we had a Ten of Swords here. I feel like somebody is now just kind of sort of just going back in your mind, just like remembering where the first sword hit, you know, just kind of like when you first experienced. This is the this is the beauty of closing out a cycle. You know, Taurus, when I was talking about like um, closing out a cycle, when that's when you're banishing, repelling, getting rid of all these toxic thoughts, just releasing it um, so that you can close out this that's not number seven so you're no longer asking why anymore why don't people get it you know why don't 
Why do people compare me to everybody? Where did where did all this start? You know, where did this circus begin? Where, where did when did I enter? When did I, you know, enter this circus? Where did all this start? You know, where did the circus create? Where did I, where did I start this circus? You know, when did I, when did I enter this circus? Where was the entry point of this circus? strength card. So somebody is now learning how to, somebody has had to learn how to heal themselves. You know, really, really learn how to heal their spirit matter. Like really been in, being in survival mode. You know, when did I start, when did I start being in survival mode where I felt like, you know, people didn't know, who, you know, could not tell me apart from everybody else you know that's where somebody's like when, where did people couldn't tell me from anybody else so somebody is highly creative i feel like um you you have inherited a lot of gifts right this is what i'm looking at your cards here you've inherited a lot of gifts right and this speaks to every part of you taurus um Something at the root chakra, which is developed between the ages of zero and seven. You you knew who you were. You know, something set you apart. You knew who you were between the ages of zero and seven. So maybe you were your mom and dad's favorite. Maybe grandparents' favorite. Maybe, you know between the ages of um, your sacral chakra, right? That's where, you know, your creativity, your first feelings about things, right? That's where you may have been around a lot of energy vampires, right there, right there, your creativity. There may be schools and that kind of stuff. Um... You start developing your creativity. Um, start noticing that other people were, you know, interested in other instruments or uh, uh, art, you know, artistic endeavors. And maybe when we're talking about Knight of Cups here, maybe you start just noticing uh, whoever, a crush or whatever the case may be. Um, Maybe people started noticing like somebody look, you look like somebody or somebody look like you or whatever the case may be. But then fire energy, solar plexus chakra between the ages of 15 through 21. That's when people start judging, competing, comparing, that kind of thing. That could have been like somebody could have felt like they were kind of in survival mode, you know, around that time, you know, really trying to kind of sort of find themselves. And that's before heart chakra. Heart chakra to be developed, you know, 22 and up, right? That's the beginning of the higher chakras, right? But somebody now is just kind of sort of like going back to between the ages of 8 years old and 14 years old. <clears throat> just like when you started thinking about the creative part of yourself, like where you were creating first crush, you know, your feelings, your sensuality, sexuality, your... Um, you know, what gave you joy, what, um, you know, your intuition, are you, you know, remembering your dreams and downloads, and if you were interested in musical instruments or art or creativity or, you know, your first, you know, thoughts were being formed and who you were around at the time or just like what was all of those things, right? You know, around who were you around at the time? You know, so here we have the King of Cups, right? So if somebody was around someone, a man, you know, around that time, an older man, 
um, around that time, father figure around that time. So we have the Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. Um, Queen of Pentacles energy is a um, an energy who is down to earth and someone who is relatable. This white rabbit here is a person who has gone down a rabbit hole. An energy who has bought into a particular fairy tale like Alice in Wonderland or Neo on uh, um, The Matrix. Who has um, bought into a particular fairy tale that ended up being a nightmare. Two of Wands. Here we have the Four of Cups. Somebody has, um, the Four of Cups comes out because Four of Cups is about, sort of like about, um, being around energy vampires. I mean, it could, it could be about depression. And you got the Knight of Cups here, like, you know, somebody who, you know, kind of wants somebody to save them. You know, kind of like want somebody to save them from something. Save somebody from depression. And so source is saying to you, you know, everything is fine. Well, it's not everything is fine because we have the tennis, so it's not. So everything is not fine, but um, like save somebody from two types of energy, like Here's a death card. So a rebirth is happening here. There's a Scorpio and a Leo involved in something. Scorpio and a Leo involved in this. Mm -hmm. Wearing a mask. Okay, so Taurus, all right, wherever Taurus is in your birth chart, your moon sign can be Taurus, right? Sun, moon, the sun illuminates the moon, right? And I'm seeing the sun here, right? So um, somebody has a sun sign, sun or moon in Taurus, and I'm talking to you wherever Taurus is in your birth chart. So there is a, um, there's a lot of water in your chart, so water in your cards here. So somebody has been around some energy vampires, okay? And there's a belief system, so... Someone, someone whose chakras are all aligned has a particular belief system. They've has they've been having some downloads, some dreams, right? Um, and they have been picking up on some energies. Um, have been picking up on your energy, um, Taurus. They have been picking up on your energy. They have a particular belief system about some things, right? that there are these two okay taurus all right so we ran out we had to um clear some more time here okay so <clears throat> take only what resonates with you all okay so either somebody's sun sign is a taurus or moon sign is a taurus right 
even though this entire reading connects us with wherever Taurus is in your birth chart, right? This could apply to you or it could apply to somebody that you know, right? So if it doesn't resonate with you, it could connect with somebody that you know, Taurus, okay? So don't just dismiss it as, oh, they don't apply to me. That's not my reading, whatever, right? Don't be so that that's not my reading, okay? Because, again, it could help somebody that you know, okay? Somebody, um, somebody that you are connected to has been picking up, this is the I believe sign, has been picking up on somebody um, that you have an emotional connection with. Um, got two energies, got two energies, these two energies here, a Scorpio and a Leo. Very dark, low vibrating energies has put somebody who has a Taurus sun or Taurus moon in a very compromising position where they actually videoed or filmed. They filmed like video or recorded, recorded, whether it's, you know, like recorded, filmed or whatever. Like cell phone filmed or recorded. They had two very low vibrating energies. Um, <clears throat> um, put them in a very compromising position. But a master manipulator is at the as a man that is a as a as a is at the helm of something, is at the helm of this. Mm -hmm. Is at the helm of this. Put somebody in a very compromising position. They thought... They were going somewhere. This is either somebody you know and love. It's somebody that you connected to in some kind of way, uh, Taurus. It's interesting that people watch tarot, you know, like for entertainment purposes. And I know all that this is for entertainment purposes. But people watch it because whether you disbelieve or believe, this is the I believe sign, there's still belief and disbelief, right? So... Um, but some two energies put somebody that you are connected to in a very in a survival situation. Somebody who, you know, was just feeling like, you know, they were on, you know, just feeling like they were at their just low point. They were depressed because of someone who died. They were very depressed. Someone who died. But it's two people who were put in those positions because of the death of a loved one. And that's how they catch people. Like they catch people who are depressed because of loved ones who died. And it's a master manipulator who does this to people. That's how they catch people. They record people in very compromising positions. Very dark, very low vibration. All right. There's the everything is fine. Yeah, they've done it to two people. All right. Source needs you to learn how to stay focused, though. Source needs you to learn how to stay focused and stay as far away from them as possible. Because they're ruthless. They are ruthless. And free yourselves. So if you're somehow connected to um, them in some way, shape, form, or fashion, because um
there's something else happening. There's something else happening that people don't see. So, time for some alone time. Time for some alone time. Yeah, so it's just trying to get you to get somewhere and get your chakras aligned. Time for some alone time. All this water right here lets me know that these are mirroring spirits where people have cameras everywhere. And recording stuff. Six, health. the power to create the work and lifestyle of my dreams. Overwhelm is down the ballast and removed from my work today. I calmly focus on one thing at a time. Somebody to get away from two people. Well, three, but start dating again for somebody more money is coming soon yep your gifts have increased your ancestors have a message ask source for clarity get focused don't forget that rest is a form of self-care and leave these two energies behind step through the portal time to open your vault door time to open your vault door Taurus time to open your vault door these energies two very low vibrating energies that put you in a circus Taurus put you and a loved one in a circus try to disrupt your money but it backfired but that's not the end for them it's not the end for them. Take a leap of faith, right? Dream even bigger. The best is yet to come. Time to do a root chakra cleanse, but journal your journey. Keep on moving forward. You have the gift of clairvoyance. Yeah, it's time to expand your brand. It's time to expand your brand. Time to expand your brand. But your gifts have increased. You're going to feel changed, liberated, and free. You're going to feel changed, liberated, and free. All right, Taurus, that is what I have for you. Be careful. Be 
be careful. Companionship. Giving yourself, giving someone your complete presence is an astonishing gift. That it is. It's an astonishing gift. It's an astonishing gift. Do we have one last card? I think we do. Gratitude. I'm blessed with this life. I have all that I need. I lack nothing. All is well and I'm whole. Each day is a new gift. I am supported. I'm grateful for all that I have. Be grateful. Be grateful. That is what I have for you. Thank you for joining me. I will see you all in the next video. All right. Bye.